It's a quarter to 10 on this Saturday morning. Time now to imagine it with Carl Nelson. He's the chief scientist and possibly the chief mixologist. Sometimes, at the imagination sometimes. station. <laughs> What's happening here? Well, you know, down at the Science Center, we've got guitar, the instrument that rocked the world. Yeah. Traveling exhibition that got us thinking about sound and music and notes and how you could do something cool with sound at home with stuff you already have. All right. Okay. And so, you know, you've probably done this before, Tony. You have a wine glass with a little right. water in it. Stick your finger in, get yeah. it wet, rub it around the rim. I don't know if I can get this. Add a little work. pressure. Yeah, I'm trying. Whoa. There you go. Aye, nice. Aye, aye. Yours again? There's, there's a bit two, of discord. There's two different notes, right? And you can see that there's different water levels in there. And by adding more water, you're actually changing the mass of the glass. And you're gonna get a higher pitch note out of your, your glass. I'm sorry, lower pitched here, uh -huh. higher here. Take away some mass, it can vibrate faster. All right. Okay, now it's, it's hard sometimes to do that. You could just do that as faster. well. Faster. And that's the basis of the bottle xylophone here. Hey. All right, so here, go ahead and take that. Now, like there's headed. nothing special about Perrier bottles. You could do this with any kind of bottle. I just like these because they come in two different sizes. Oh. You got the big ones and the small ones. Yeah. And it all looks consistent, but you could use Pepsi bottles, you could use wine glasses, almost anything. Um, different levels of water in each of the bottles, right? So go ahead and give it a try. All right, should I just? Yeah, just have one at a time. Nice. <laughs> I thought you were just going to do this. Oh, okay. You're actually getting some music in there. That's cool. Yeah, so. Name that tune. <laughs> what we're doing, again, just like the wine glass is changing the sort of mass inside there. And when we tap on the bottles, you can get different notes. Yeah, how about okay? that? Okay. And, or, I'm not as good as you with, yeah, yeah, that was know. great. I did not expect that. <laughs> but what's interesting, though, is when you're doing this experiment, filling these up, with different levels of water. I actually downloaded an app to tune them to okay. specific notes, but you don't need to get that fancy. But check this out though. If we go from, pitch is rising, yeah. right? But if we blow across them. It does the opposite. It does the opposite. Wild. Because now, <laughs> instead of making the glass vibrate, we're making the air column vibrate. Oh. Here we have a long air column. Here we have a short air column. High pitch, low pitch. I never even considered that. Okay. That's terrific. <laughs> now, if you don't have bottles at home and you don't have all this sort of stuff, you can make do with just a soda straw. Okay. Okay, and on this soda straw, I've just made a little uh, pointy end. It's like a double reed on an oboe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some noise with this. Okay. I'm gonna give you the dangerous pair of scissors here. <laughs> and let's see if I can make some noise. Okay, so as you shorten that air column, you actually raise the pitch, and it's kind of like a one-time musical instrument. You get I, like one scale out of it, and that's it. You're I done. hope my kids aren't watching. They'll be doing that all day. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a lot of cool sound stuff that we're doing out in the Science Center with guitar. That's terrific. Well, if you want to check it out here at In Person, here are the times and the location. Of course, it's downtown at One Discovery Way. Today, Lucas County residents with an adult, the kids 12 and under getting free. Absolutely. All right. Thanks very much, Carl. Sure. That is this week's Imagine It. Make some noise. It is time now for highlights of your Basketball Friday. <laughs>